After many citizens' coalition for change CCC events were prohibited in recent weeks, top police officials have instructed officers around the nation to permit opposition parties to organize their campaign rallies. A deputy commissioner told commanders in an internal memo that prohibiting rallies was endangering the credibility of Zimbabwe's elections. He claimed that reports of the CCC receiving denials of permits were ablaze on social media, resulting in scenes that discredit the election process. With careful consideration, commanders were only to prohibit demonstrations for extremely valid grounds, according to the document. The message emphasized that free speech is essential for free, fair, peaceful, and trustworthy elections. Police, according to the Deputy Commissioner, are dedicated to maintaining the law and ensuring that all parties can openly campaign. Commanders were instructed to get away with the regulations governing political gatherings and activities in order to make educated decisions. Prior to the voting on August 23rd, the CCC claimed that the police were targeting it. Recently, the police forbade CCC demonstrations in Bindura, Keredzi, and Zoka, using tear gas to scatter demonstrators in Keredzi. Eight people were detained. Assistant Commissioner Paul Nyothi, a senior police spokesman, said that the document was an internal communication intended for commanders but that it was leaked to the public. He claimed that a probe was being conducted to determine how this disorderly element acquired access. As she just said, I've given you an official position and that's enough for now. Nyati declined to reveal who wrote the message.